Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, if you are running Windows 11 version 22H2 or 23H2, as I've spoken about in previous moment feature updates to the Windows 11 OS, if you head to your quick settings in the system tray, we now get this sound output section, which gives you the option to select a sound output without actually heading into your settings, which is basically a quick shortcut, which I actually quite enjoy, which is a quick setting to check out your different settings like spatial sound uh, for your different output devices and so on. Now, as you can see to get to this section, although it's in quick settings, it did take a couple of clicks. And if you have noticed at the top, there is actually a quick shortcut that you can use to get to this a lot quicker if this is something like I do, and um, if this is something you use on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's using Windows key, Control and V as a quick shortcut um, to open the quick settings directly to the sound output section without having to go through extra clicks as I just demonstrated. So just to demonstrate, we go to our keyboard, we hit Windows, Control and V on our keyboard, and there we go, it takes us directly now to the sound output where there's a volume mixer where you can pick your audio endpoint and enable spatial sound as mentioned. So that's Windows, Control and V. And I think that's a nice handy shortcut, especially as mentioned, if you find yourself in the same situation as I do and I'm using this on a regular basis. It just uh, negates a couple of extra clicks. And when you are using it day to day, over and over, I think this little con Windows Control and V shortcut is a nice move and a step in the right direction and just makes the whole process a lot simpler. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.